Hi friends, uh, here is Aicha from Aicha Prepon Bangalore. Now we are going to now we are continue to work with like an exceptional handling that is advanced. In this video, we are going to see like how to handling you know like a business rule. If you really like this video, you please subscribe it and you please give it to your friends. And we'll see like you know, so how can we handle like any dirty data? Means the cases that cannot be completed because they can con they contain like incomplete or invalid information. The first one is create a, like a new work queue, like a work queue with like a patient ID. So here I am creating a process. Handling. So business rules. So process. And then go to system so you guys know about like room where we can create like a queue and then where it's available go to work queue like a so workflow and work queues like a patient so id click on apply if you observe here the q1 is replaced by patient id and then go to studio and sorry control room so here you can find out like the now right now the patient id queues and empty and the second step is now we are going to create a collection containing the fields like a patient id the data type is text and the data birth is and the data type is like a date so go to studio And create one collection is like a patient table and click on the add fields like similar to the columns in an Excel spreadsheet or in a database table. And the first one is like a patient ID and data type is text and data birth. So like a patient ID and the data type is text. So patient information and data birth. Select the data type is like a date. Patient data birth information. And here I am creating like you no know, 10 records. Let us say so 2001. This copy and paste so here I'm created cut 10 records And if you observe here, so use like eight digits for most patient IDs, 
but also use record six and seven digit numbers for some rows too. Okay, if you observe here, some patient IDs are like an eight digits, like eight digit numbers, and then uh, so for text we can use like both numbers and uh, text. <coughs> And some of them have like you know, only five digits and like you know, six digits, seven digits like that. But whereas our required one is like you know, eight digits. Means like you know, out of eight digits, like you know, apart from eight digits, they are like you know, uh, we can consider, consider them as dirty data, okay? And then the date of birth. And for the date of birth, uh, <coughs> so above H and S like becomes like an adult. So here I'm creating like uh, uh, and now like we are in 2017 if you go back like the 18 years means like uh, um, like a 1990. Copy and paste it here. So if you observe here, 98 means like you now more than 18 years old will come from the cartilage. And let me make them some of them like you know, it's like uh, so below 18 years. So here we are considering like only adults data, but whereas this data is mixing with like both adults and like you know, uh, like you know, before 18 years old, like you know, they won't consider as an adult. And now we are going to work with like you know, work queues, queues management. So if you remember, we have already created like one work queue that is like you know, patient ID under system tab. Go to system workflow like a work queues like patient right copy the work queue and then go to studio then now I'm going to add them to queue. So you know about this one like uh, internal business subject that is like work queues. Then you add to queue. So queue name is here. So keep it in double quotes. And the collection is here like a patient table. So assign a name for this one like add to Q. Go to outputs. Then click on like a stored in. So linkage. So reset it. Now it should look at zero errors. And before you run it, just go to control room. So right now the queue is an empty. Okay, now I'm going to run this uh, process. 
Okay, right. Uh, use this option like run to this stage and then go to control room. So if you observe here, even so far the queue is an empty means once it is cross this code or stage, and then will be added into the queue. Okay, run to this stage. Okay, go to control room. Then here we can see like you know, they add into like a queue. Right? And so far we add them into queue. Okay, let me run it like you know, once again. So reset it. Then so reset it and then run it. Then reset it and then run it. So reset it and then run it. Okay, go to control room. Then refresh it. So here you can see because we run it like a several times. So it's giving us a message like fetching items from database. 